Hello, valued viewers. I hope you're all doing very well. My apologies for my voice. I've got that COVID again, which just keeps happening, but we'll battle through. Speaking of battles, we've got a massive, really interesting naval battle today. The request from you, the viewers, and lots of you requested this, is could a modernized 2020s US cruiser, just one, take on the entire 1942 World War II Japanese fleet that attacked Midway? Let's go and find out. Before we go into details, we need to understand a bit about the history so this all makes sense. So I take you back to the Battle of Midway, 4th of June 1942, 0430 local time. There were four naval fleets involved in the battle. The Japanese first carrier strike fleet and their midway support fleet, the second fleet. Two American fleets, Task Force 17 and Task Force 16. We can see their distance in nautical miles and true bearing from our analogue of midway here, shown there, there and there, at the snapshot time of 04.30 in the morning. Constitution of the fleet, which is going to be critical today. The Japanese first carrier strike fleet, commanded by Yamamoto in Yamato and Nogumu, controlling the aircraft carriers. Four fleet carriers, Akagi, Kaga, Hiryu and Soryu. Two battleships, three cruisers and 12 destroyers. Aircraft on board the carriers were 75 A6M2 Zeke fighters, 70 D3A1 Val dive bombers, 81 B5N2 Kate torpedo bombers, as well as two Judies and eight Jeans. Total 236 aircraft. On the support fleet, which is going to be not critical today because of their position, four heavy cruisers, two destroyers and 12 float planes. The American Task Force 17 and 16, which were positioned as a trap because, as we all know, the Battle of Midway was won by the Americans because they could break the Japanese ciphers and listen to their orders. So they knew the attack was happening, so they positioned a trap in Task Force 16 and 17 and attacked the Japanese before they could hit Midway. Task Force 17, one carrier, Yorktown, three cruisers, five destroyers. Yorktown had 25 F4F4 Wildcats, 37 SDB3 Dauntless Dive Bombers, 13 TD1 Devastator Torpedo Bombers. Task Force 16 with two carriers, Enterprise and Hornet, five cruisers and 10 destroyers. Holding 54 F4F Fighters, 75 SDB Bombers and 24 TD1 Torpedo Bombers. Total 228 aircraft on the three carriers. So the Japanese had slightly more aircraft at the battle, but remember also Midway had its own air wings. Six Grumman TDF Avengers, four B-26 Marauders, 17 B-17 Flying Fortresses, 19 SDB-2s, 17 SB-2U-3 Vindicators, 21 Brewster Buffaloes, and seven Grumman Wildcats, 91 total. The casualties were high, as per Wikipedia, USA lost one fleet carrier, one destroyer, 150 aircraft destroyed, so heavy losses, 307 killed, including three as prisoners. Japan lost all four fleet carriers sunk, one heavy cruiser, one heavy cruiser damaged, two destroyers damaged, 248 aircraft, all, every single one of the aircraft destroyed, over 3,000 killed, 37 captured. Today, we are not modelling any of the American forces because today they are not relevant. Also, generally speaking, we are not modelling submarine, anti-submarine warfare or reconnaissance aircraft, which are not included in these slides. So what we do have modelled is the correct first fleet and support fleet in the correct positions. For the Americans, all we have is what you guys wanted, a single modernised 2020s Ticonderoga cruiser here. Now, the CMP would be able to attack the Japanese at a long distance of over 100 miles if it had AWACS support, but it doesn't. You guys said nothing about AWACS, I'm taking you guys literally, so they've just got the cruiser. So, I've had to start them moderately close, about 55 miles away. So, unit details. Let's first look at the Japanese. Here is the first fleet. I don't know what formation they would have been in, but what we do have is the correct constitution. I've got four carriers here. I've made them all Hiru for simplicity. Aboard them are the correct number of aircraft. 
236. Instead of using the variety of aircraft that were used, I've used one generic Pacific fighter, the A6M0. It will act as air to air and air to ground in the correct quantities as per real life. So you will see today four carriers and 236 aircraft to taking off from them. The air to ground slash anti ship will be armed with bombs and cannon, and the air to air just cannon and gun. Once they realize they're being attacked by the American cruiser, they will all take off and attack the American cruiser. Of course, this is what happened in real life. They were preparing to attack the island, but then they spotted the American fleets, then rearmed for anti ship and attacked the American fleet. We have the correct number of battleships, cruisers and destroyers in there. So if we have a look at the front, I've got the Yamato class battleship, the biggest battleship ever made by human hand. We have the cruisers, uh, which I've used as a Sendai generic cruiser. And we have destroyers, which I've used as a generic Kamikaze class destroyer. All there in the correct quantities. We have the same out here, all modeled for the support fleet, but that will not take part in the battle today because of the distances shown, it's just there. And today's Americans. Starting out of sight over the curvature of the Earth, about 50 odd miles away, is the American modernized cruiser. Just one, 2020's CMP. Modern ships are modular. They can be armed differently depending on what their mission is. We have three different loadouts that we can use, SAM, anti-ship, or land attack cruise missile. Neither of those are going to be good enough to do the job that we need to do today to destroy an entire fleet. So I've modified a special cruiser within realism limits. The real cruiser can carry up to 80 SM2 slash SM6 missiles in its VLS system. I've replaced all of those with SM6. So she's essentially today, this could happen in real life, carrying 80 SM6 missiles which are capable of anti-ship. She will also be carrying her standard issue 8 SM3 missiles, which will obviously have no relevance today. No tomahawks, I'm stripping them all out today. And she will have a maximum complement of 8 harpoons. So a total of 88 anti-ship missiles today, which I repeat, could be done in real life. Also, she will have her max complement of 64 ESSM for anti-aircraft. So, we've configured her for maximum damage to a fleet with a bit of self-defense from the air. She is going to charge the Japanese at flank speed. Once her over-the-horizon sensors see the tallest of the Japanese ships, she'll start firing and that will happen out of interest just under 40 miles. Also, I need something for my humans to do. We don't just like AI versus AI. It can get very stale. I've got my beautiful humans. Say hello, beautiful humans. Hello. Hello. Hello, beautiful humans. Cruisers, of course, well, most ships can carry helicopters. I think this can carry either two or three helicopters in real life, but we're going to bend that slightly and say it can take five because I want to include all of my humans. Because my guys have different modules in game that they can fly, I've allowed essentially any helicopter that could be possibly carried by a ship this size. So they can take Apaches, MI-24s, Mistrals, Car-50, and that's it. They're equipped with a generic loadout of half air-to-air -air and half air-to-ground. Guys, there is only one helipad, so you must, as adults, communicate with each other and spawn one at a time, take off, then the next guy spawns, take off, then the next guy spawns. Objective is to defend the carrier from the zeros. There are too many zeros to be taken out for the ship's defences. The ships can only shoot down 64 of them with their ESSMs. The rest are up to you. So you've got a lot of air-to-air -air work to do. If you die, you can respawn infinitely. That is unrealistic. But again, I want you to have a fun game for an hour and a half as well. And that's pretty much it, guys. You've got the full realistic first carrier strike group of Midway in all their might versus one American cruiser. Guys, we've got to do predictions. I'll do mine first. Uh, I think this is the most stupid bloody thing I've ever heard. Do you realize how much tonnage there is there and how much firepower, 18 inch guns and all that stuff? I think it's the stupidest thing I've ever heard, but I modeled it as realistically. I modeled it in the Americans' favor, but within realism. I think it's stupid. I don't think there's any way you're going to win. But you guys, what do you think? Pretty much agree. Why yeah, we're think... all picked for this particular mission? I don't know. Mm -hmm. But what I do know is that these helicopters are going to save the day. So we have to shoot down 16 zeros each? I can't do the maths. A bit more, maybe? <laughs> Bear in mind, they're going to be fighting you as well. They're going to be shooting you down. What skill level are they? GR Average. Will, there's a GR way. Average. All right, viewers, uh, get ready for a thrashing. 
Right, guys, here we go. The long-awaited, modernized Ticonderoga CMP versus the entire Midway first carrier group. Simba, please unpause the server. All right, here we go. Damp's going up first. Damp, uh, before you do your switch, holiday, you take off to let the next guy in, I suggest. Oh, there. He's got his own livery, look. Agent gentlemen, Sockington. Get properly car clear of the carrier before you uh, let the other boys in, please. Okay, sock is up, sock is clear. All right, let's see if it works, viewers, for the next one spawning. Yeah, it works. I'm so proud of you, boys. Brings a tear to the eye. Let's have a look at the first carrier fleet, viewers. Now, in real life, would they be closer together or further apart? I really wasn't sure. I get a feeling maybe even closer together, bearing in mind they only had guns to protect each other, but I didn't want them to, you know, run into each other or do something silly. All 236 aircraft today model for viewing pleasure. Four carriers. For the beautiful Yamato. Beautiful Yamato. Look at that son of a bee valued viewers. 72,000 tons of pure whatever. Pure destiny. 18.1 inch guns. I think the biggest naval inch uh, naval guns ever made. Four funnel cruisers at the front. Uh, single funnel destroyers. No, twin funnel destroyers. Look at that, viewers. Thousands and thousands and thousands of men. Right there. Fire's clear. What would have happened if the Americans hadn't broken the codes? Well, almost certainly Midway would have been taken, and whatever that means. Let's go and have a look at the boys again. Oh, look, they're all up. Right, guys, I suggest you get west, west, west. Get 5,000 feet and go and try and intercept as quickly as you can. Don't worry about surviving too long. You won't survive very long against 200 aircraft, obviously. Just try and shoot something. We've got Sock in his trusty MI-24. Woo! We've got Fire in a Mistral. Push in a Car 50. Real me head of a chopper. Six air-to-air uh, -air weapons in that thing. Plus guns. Simba. Hind. Simba. Check gear. Oh, they're really nice. Lies in a car 50. Ooh, a true tank of a chopper. Alright, check the overview. Uh, 20 planes airborne so far, guys. This is a fighter variant with no bombs. How far over the horizon would you see that massive smoke trail viewers from the oil? Probably quite far, I'd imagine. So obviously the Japanese have spotted uh, Japanese in real life, or you know, any carrier group would have uh, recon planes constantly out hundreds of miles away. And they would radio back what they'd seen, so that's obviously happened here has happened in the real battle. It was a joy to behold. Let's get now out of view. Probably 30 airborne now. Distance between aircraft fronts of just over 30 nautical miles. We're in a strange position here, but these helicopters, these Russian attack helicopter viewers, can almost fly as fast as these World War II aircraft. For our viewers, the definition of the flying tank. Apaches are available, viewers, but uh, they don't have dedicated uh, air to air weapons, so they're just not that much use at the moment for what we're doing. Guys, um, the heat signature of those World War II fighters is going to be much lower than you're used to. Doing it yesterday, about you had to get within about five or six kilometers. I have to ship some ash cover. 
I've modeled them all today as heroes, uh, viewers, carriers. It's just much easier and more reliable if I do it like that. All these assets hey, have to I'm be constantly maintained. Go ahead, Tom. I'm almost at altitude. I have eyes on the enemy. How about that? 25 miles away. How are you doing here? Have you got an optic of some kind or you just see them? Zoom. Hold on. Call it blind binoculars. Remember viewers, the Tycho can still use its ESSM, enhanced Sea Sparrow missiles to defend itself against air to aerial targets. It has a range of, well, against a slow, low target of probably not very much, maybe mm, 15 miles, maybe 20 miles if you're lucky. Those are the Harpoon launchers, rear naval gun, Bushmasters, uh, twin Sea Whiz, front naval gun. It's a well-armed ship. Okay, I'm guessing about 50 aircraft airborne now, guys. See the planes now on my TV, but it can't lock on them right now. We are eight minutes in. Distance between aircraft fronts of nine nautical miles, guys. Not long before missile engagement range. I can very much see the fleet from Pooch's flying tank. Now it's Sock has lock on first target. Oh, 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 some of you are under five miles now. Oh, here we go, viewers. The thing we've been waiting for, you know, the thing. Pooch is about to okay. get smothered. They have two missiles out. Do Vickers against an air target, ladies and gentlemen. I give you fly. Oh, it's got a new model. Look, target's too small to get a real lock on it, but I can get it. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Ah, ah, fuck missed by level. 20 feet. Missed by 20 feet. What a good try. Boosh, it's a merge. Boosh is it. Dog flight. Flash one. Oh, thing's about to get gassed. Fly. Two miles. Sails away. You could do have stingers on that thing, you know, fly. I know. Eagles. Is. Okay, I have a lock. I have a lock. Okay. Fly here. Don't lose situational awareness for the ones that are right next to you guys. Yep. Fly's absolutely getting smothered in them. They're quite bad shots. Uh, Vickers aren't doing the job. It's going to be pure dogfight, guys. That's a big merge. Fly's chasing one. We can fly chase him. <laughs> Fox one? I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's doing a thing, though, damn. It's doing a thing. Oh, it didn't explode. It's got the wrong kind of fuse on his sock. Go for the R60s. Copy. You gave me the wrong missiles. Oh, go for the R60s then. Push is out. Get a new one. I've been hit. Going in oh. for a dogfight. Push spawning in. Fly on the deck. Yeah. Right in a second. Something's happening, something's happening. ESSMs are out. Okay, viewers. Okay, ES is out. ESSMs are firing. Harpoons are firing. Oh my god, everything's firing. Who go first? The cruise has just gone nuts. It might be worth leaving your respawns for a minute. Everything just fired, viewers. Did you see all that? Oh, so much is happening. So quickly now. Oh my god, I don't know what to watch. Uh, that. <laughs> Okay, best thing now is to watch at the scoreboard, viewers. It's going to tell you roughly what's going on. That just happened. Whatever that is, it just happened. Oops, I didn't know. 
five zeros down, six zeros down, seven zeros down. A lot is going to happen very fast now, viewers. Eight zeros down. Yes, Sam has just commented. Yes, some sixes are fired. Oh my god, they're reaching. Nah. Uh, it's all going all too fast. Smoke trails. Things are happening now, viewers. Yes, some sixes are now attacking. And this is absolutely possible in real life. Probably that's your best Sock view. Got killed. Launching from the deck. One destroyer down. Eleven zeros down. Two destroyers down. Three destroyers down. The SM6 is incredibly powerful against small ships. They can even break the back of a small destroyer. Let me know when you're clear, Dan. Cruiser hit, but not sunk. Aircraft carrier hit. SM6 is. Ignore the syntax on the SM6. Uh, and the SM2 viewers. I've had to mess around to get them to work. They are all SM6 missiles. Taking off. Clear the deck. Destroy a hit and kill. Roger, Simba spawning in. Okay. 64. Oh, it's... no, it doesn't matter. Oh man, this is complex. Bit of target duplication going on here, I'm afraid, viewers. That is unfortunately inevitable. Oh no, it wasn't. It was taken on a cruiser. Cruiser's going to take a lot of hits, as you can see. And save as an aircraft carrier. 69 Sam's fire. Let's so clear far. the deck. Still hitting this cruiser. Who's spawning in? Seeing the missiles coming out Cruiser right red. behind Simba's uh, tail is awesome. On here, we're here. Roger, guys. Wonder how many ESSMs they've got, I don't know. Push you in. It's not letting me spawn in. I'm gonna get out and get back in. Go ahead. Fire. Five destroyers down. 36. A6. Well, words. Harpoons are going in. Or SM6s. Spawning in. Or ESSMs. Oh, jeez. Modern cruiser, best cruiser, apparently. Those more ESSMs going out, guys. From meathead of a weapon, viewers. Deck is clear. 43 zeros down, 5 destroyers down. Uh, a bunch of cruisers hit, aircraft carriers hit. Aircraft carriers take a lot of SM6s to sink them viewers, probably about mm, 8 or 9, I'd imagine. That was on fire, wow! First aircraft carrier destroyed! Look at that, viewers. Boosh, clear. It's on fire, and they're doing evasive maneuvers, brilliant work. And about to hit another aircraft carrier. Ladies and gentlemen, looking at the firepower of modern 20... Oh, it's gonna hit that one, damn Fire is down and respawning. Jeez, a massive battery coming in right now, viewers. Yamato. Fire's Hiru. clear. Hiru. Bang! Smacked into Hiru. Look at that, viewers. One Hiru sunk. Three to go. Uh, trying to look at some of this. How's it going with the front, guys? I'm, I'm watching the, uh, the feet being smashed. I can't see what's, how close are they getting. They are not penetrating past the SM6. Beautiful. 13 miles. You've kept them at 13 miles at bay. That's great work you're doing, guys. Keep doing whatever you're doing. As long as they can't get point blank. Oh, the harpoons are going in. Look at this, viewers. Much bigger warhead. Four times as big a warhead on this. Bang, that was smashed. I'll break the back of the cruiser. Cruiser dead. They're now going for the battleships. Yamato. Wow, shot down. Another hero hit. Brilliant work on the anti-carrier stuff. Still oh, lots of airplanes airborne. Right, it appears we're out of ESSMs now. That's the bad news, so it's all up to you guys now, but the, the hostiles are seriously wounded right now. Sark is at altitude waiting for them to come to me. Hold on. Yep, got that defensive wall in place. One carrier down, one cruiser down, eight destroyers down. 60 zeros down. Obviously, when the car is destroyed, viewers, no more aircraft will be able to take off from it. Interestingly, they're not targeting the battleships. I think they know the missiles just can't damage the battleships. Finish off this destroyer. Horizon gun down. But, um,. Oh, I wish I'd seen that. Come on, Sock, do another one. 
Nice sock. Yeah. Shoot his face. Get some. Yeah, good hit. You hit him. G'day, nerd. Okay, bombers are now six miles away. Not gonna be long before he's out. Horizon hit with a 30 mil. Hold on. That's a bomber. Oh, so much smash, it's hard to know really what's what now, viewers. But a lot of stuff's getting blown up. Another carrier hit. Two carriers down now. What excellent fire, viewers. I'm taking Splash. the fight for Yamato. Done. Yeah, that's a full sinking. Two carriers fully sunk now. They've only got half their air force now. Oh, we go for the third carrier now. Excellent, excellent firing from the CMP viewers. I'm sinking! I'm sinking! Oh, it's wonderful when a plan actually works. Uh oh, here's a problem. Fire that merge. Fire Winchester. First bombers got through on the carrier two miles. I suggest we have Watch one. Watch out, Hind, you're getting done. Need one yeah, guy hovering yeah. above the ship. Yeah, the Bushmaster's nailed him. Seawiz nailed him. Ladies and gentlemen, American Seawiz, best of all. The ship is now out of missiles. Point defense on the ship, please, guys. Fire's respawning. Good hit. Good hit, one of you. Great job. They just keep coming, viewers. Holy cow, that gun is loud. Now all out defense on the cruiser. Nice one fire. Smashing these bombers down. Ah, oh, what a cool ship this is. Friggin' coming, viewers. Shoot it pieces. Come on, Sock. Do the thing. Yeah, smash. Sock merge everything. Good kill, team. Kamikaze coming in. Missed. Ha <laughs> ha Good kill, fire. Camel's in trouble from a massive... Oh, God, Camel. Shake it off. It's just a wing. I'm on his, I'm on his six. I'm going get, to get him off here. You're good, Camog, you're good. Or is this Thank much you. more harder work when I'm fought in the yep. behind? It's very hard work, guys. You're all doing double workload right now. Bomber's coming in. 81 zeros down. Jesus Christ. Fire respawning. Guy just tried to land on the fucking cruiser. Bomb just went we off. Took we took a hit. We took a hit. Oh, the cruiser's hit. The cruiser's hit. Oh, no. If you we're going to overwhelm. The bridge is gone. The bridge is gone. We're still fighting. Oh, we hit it again. Oh, my God. It's too hard. Oh, 
Oh, the guns are still going. I think you can still respawn, guys. Yep, I just respawned on it. Do it. Okay. You sons of bitches. Come on, like a friggin' man. Oh, no, 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 no. There's just too many of them. If the ship goes down, use your last life to charge charge the Yamato fleet. Marks one. Oh shit! Oh shit! A bomb inbound, Mister! <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! She's a tough girl. She's a tough girl. Oh 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 no! She's still saleable. She's still saleable. Guys, I'm taking control of the ship. Expect crazy defense. Happy. Game master, ship. Uh, words, set path. Simba, can you respawn as the game master and control the ship? Fly, sure. uh, spawning. Oh, I got sunk. Oh, no. Guys, use your last life. Charge, charge the Japanese. Oh, is the boat already sunk? Yeah, the boat is now sunk. Two uh, carriers survived. Two hostile carriers survived. A red health. Look at that, viewers. Red health, red health, or okay, yellow health. You sons of bitches. They've only got a few ships left. Got half a dozen ships left, guys. Two carriers are in red health. We can win this if we can get a couple of guys somehow past all these horizons. Charge, push! Gun them down. Maximum speed. Three of you oh, three of you made it alive. They're just swarming the corpse of the freaking ship. You bacar bastards. It's occupying. Trim it out and go west. Copy. It's not only a one way. He's only got. Uh, he's missing a rotor. He's missing a rotor. I'm fine. He's missing a wing too. Um, can't win this, viewers. But you know what we can do? We can get maximum rolling gay. We used all of our missiles. All 80 SM6s were fired and do, did the maximum damage that they can do. Eight anti-ship uh, harpoons were fired. Everything we could do was put into that carrier group, but there's just too much steel. Where are the carriers? Back. In They're at the back. You need, to loot. you need to loot right around the back. Otherwise, the Yamatos will kill you. These two big ships that I'm looking at are the Yamato. Good news is we're still sinking, and the uh, Japanese base is still concentrating on our body. It's going to buy you a couple of minutes before it sinks fully. To take off just oh, one of it's just it's got sunk. gunned down. One of it's just got gunned down. Uh, two helicopters left. Uh oh, Poosh is getting. They found. No, they haven't. Poosh and Sock have somehow survived the onslaught. You got a friggin' long way to go, guys. 21 miles to go. And, oh, and these guys are still operating like viewers. I just didn't. Just didn't. Problem is, viewers, you can't. At 40 miles, you don't know which ship is which. All you can do is fire a beam on the scope. Have you forgotten about me, Cap? You're not on the map. Can't I'm I've got nowhere finding you. Passing behind the Yamato. Wow, I'm going to have to find you by free cam, so roughly how close? Um, about two miles. Watch out, we have a ghost plane, viewers. Simba's out there somewhere, we just don't know where. Fire a ghost plane nice. as well. Oh, right, you have permission to carry on, guys. There he is, found Simba. You're in a power in Apache. Okay, the game, yes. for some reason, the game thinks you're dead, but you know what, that's a game problem, it's not a cat problem, so continue. Try and shoot good loop around the back. Do you want to pass in front of the Yamato symbol? I don't think I can see him, guys. I'm off the map, but I'm still alive. I'm still right, there's an Apache. I'm right, behind. I'm right behind Dam. Right, there's something what's, wrong with the Apaches, the viewers. Apaches? The Apaches are bugged. They all think they're dead. Again, viewers, that's not a me, me problem. How is that possible that behind is still running with one missing plate? I'm tough. I don't know. Viewers were in a weird position now where the Apaches have just got bugged and are invisible to everyone, including the hostiles. And Poosh and Damp are damaged enough that the hostiles feel, to feel sorry for them. Okay. Yeah, I fixed my gyros. One... I'm back on. Look, invisible Simba Wimba. Viewers, invisible Simba Wimba. Smash that thing. Bang. Die, knobhead. I read the new skills he got. Well, I'm the miss the rockets. The rockets aren't what rockets aren't well, I'm firing. I think he's bugged. Yes, that's working. Yeah, Do that, Simba. Look at that, viewers. 
69% health. Hold on. They're still coming out, the yeah. sons of bitches. Well, I'm going to attack these carriers that are on the deck, and hopefully their explosions help. Yeah, good idea, do it. Good hit. Tell you what, these 30 millimeter cannons really beat these zeros. 71 percent. You guys ever win by some kind of hors d'oeuvre? Thank God they can't see you because they are bristling with naval guns. I mean, but it's wooden decks, yeah, so a fire of a zero now eats through the deck. It would, it would, those bullets would go. Well, actually, I'm not sure they would because I'll expose it, but they would do a lot, they would chew the deck up. Hold on, Zimba! Yeah. I want to remember that actually they were not ar uh, armored and they often had the bombs in the hangar bay. Yeah. So if you get penetrated and have a lucky hit, yeah. the whole freaking ship. Just breaks. Plus, these bullets will start a massive fire as well, which they would never be able to contain it. Think, think what dense bullets will do. 74%. 26% to go, guys. We need some big Russian missiles in here. Total inflation of just it cost viewers 4.8 billion to the uh, Japanese. 3.3 billion. Yes, it's burning, Zimbra. It's burning. 3.3 billion. 75% damage to the uh, Americans. Isn't that strange that on the sea, one of the biggest concerns is fire? Hey, it's weird, hey, isn't it? Anyway. So Kill the Ryzen, 77% damage on the high roof. What am uh Oh, oh, bad things just happened. The planes are taking off again, Timber. Yeah, you killed the one that was gunning up the <laughs> running area. Yeah, I smashed the planes up again. Ah, uh, well done. That's so funny. 91 aircraft shot. That will do some sweet, sweet damage. Percentage damage, Simba? 81%. Alright. Is the carrier slowing down? Yeah, it will do. Boys are seven miles out. I still have 16 Hellfires, so. Use that. Do you have all your. Uh, um, eight Hellfires in the still? No, I'm missing a wing. But the other wing is. Yeah, I've got there, six, huh? six on your wing. And not the boat. And the explosion of the aircraft may be damaged the boat uh, more than the Victor's one, so. I think that's all the planes There's... done now on those carriers, guys. No more are spawning in, which means they've all just taken off. Uh, they've done. So it's now finished the ship off. You can use your face afterwards, Simba. You're not going home, or you've got no home to go to, so it's not going to make a difference. There, Vickers, Vickers coming in. Here we go, boys. Shoot his little knob head. Chop. Oh, that nearly missed. No, it's just a graphical glitch there. Hit. Ah, okay. Well yeah, no. Oh, he's shooting back. Who's shooting back? Oh, boosh, the boosh, carrier. boosh. Sit to the end, boosh. Sit to the friggin' end. I'm Winchester on uh, Vickers. All right. Come on. Good Lord, right. fit to give you a gun should be able to make and contact this time. And it good rush we got. Bang! But I'm saying about... You're not going to go nowhere to go home, guys, so... Fight right to the end. Uh, the one just oh, landed. Got me. One just landed. Oh, oh. Now he lost the other wing! It's fine, use that face! That beautiful pushy face! Oh my god! Yes, man. The carriage is still like free! 50 meters before the ship. What happened to fire, Dad? There's still a zero uh, spawning on that carrier. But freaking leaveable. Hellfire inbound. Please hit, please hit, please hit. Good old warhead on it. That looks yeah. good! Yeah! Woo! Ah, uh, yeah, go on fire. You Oh, right on the aircraft. Great, you're killing. They're hitting each other now. <laughs> hey, uh, if you go for the far carrier, it's the one that's at 83% dead. So you can definitely finish one off. They're both the right, same now, Simba. That one's at 75%. Yeah. yeah. Rockets aren't working on uh... it. No, he's firing the uh, uh, illumination rockets. Is it dead, dead? Oh, did I give you the wrong rockets? Oh, damn it. Yeah, no, no, you need to change it to the inner rockets on the pot. That's high explosive. 
Yeah, you gave him the wrong rockets. It wins us. It wins that, I think. The far one has two airplanes on it. Smack him. Yay. Oh, yeah. There we go. Well yeah. done. That's all my rockets. Go to gun. Percentage? Uh, 91. George is missing the planes. Carry a percentage. Ninety-six. Nice. Maybe get a bit closer if you can. Destroyed. Yeah. This bad one zero doing. Did you talking about the one that's on the boat? Take off. Yeah, it yeah, looks like I want to take off. Ooh. And make crash. Ooh. That's beneficial to us. Ooh, look at that. That's damage to the yeah. carrier, guys. And he's standing in the fire. It's an American pilot. Huh? He's Why? An American pilot, I don't know. Text player value is vastly increased. What's the damage? 84. Are you going? Another fighter is in battle. 110 rounds left. I got it to 93. Alright, are you facing to it? Let's end it. Okay, Valley viewers, that was good fun. It was silly at the end, obviously, but I wanted my pilots to have some fun. I wish they are allowed sometimes. Boom, done. Uh, back to the original question. Can a single modernized uh, US cruiser win the Battle of Midway? No, it can't. Could it do it when it has its uh, new Mark V Tomahawks? Maybe. Could it do it when it has its new Lorasm B anti-ship missiles? Maybe, but neither of those exist at the moment, and they're certainly not on any ships at the moment, so that would be a uh, hypothesis. Otherwise, a really good fight, lots of action. Anything to draw from it, my pilots? You did better than I expected. Roger. Yeah, it did go better uh, than did I expected. Do well. You did do well, guys. Yeah, you did really well. Stop Apaches impressed. win the war? <laughs> Apparently so, guys. Yeah, I'm again so. very impressed by damn Sox flying skills and behind. Roger. Getting the small fighter is, is incredible hard. Speaking of which, bragging rights, fire dad got six kills, amazingly well done. Sock got three kills. I mean, these are just ones that, you know, caught. Sock got three kills, great. Simba got one kill, plus you all did loads of damage to the uh, aircraft carriers in the lol section. That was great, guys. Uh, thanks for the suggestion, and um, I'll see you all later.